Did you miss me? Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Do 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 in the Rachuru because the Rachuru is at an all-time high. I bet you missed me saying that, but yes, this season, I can already tell. This is the beginning, but I can already tell there there's a lot of Rachuru about to happen, okay? I'm seeing some of these characters. Whoo! It's about to be wild. So let's just get right on into it, okay? Let's check out this thumbnail, okay? So obviously, we're now talking about the couple Stan and Lisa. As you can tell from the thumbnail, Stan is definitely holding Lisa hostage, allegedly. And he's able to do so because, you know, he's talking all this stuff about age is only a number. Because as you can see, there's a little bit of an age difference, okay? It's a little bit of an age difference. Um, it's only a number, but so is the $2.3 million he's worth, okay? He's about to tell you himself. So, let's just dive right on into it. Cue the intro. That's not the intro, but this is. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, let's just get right on into it. Hmm. So, he is 65 years old, retired, and she's 39 years old, and she was caught up with tampering with a motor vehicle and possession, and she got 10 months for that. So now Stan over here, he's what, what are they doing even? I think tennis or whatever, you with his buddies. certain advantages to somebody. My approximate worth right now, and of course it varies, but uh, it's about 2.3 million. I mean, for me, I, I don't think I would want to be single these days. Yeah. Since hmm. I lost my wife, Jean. He lost his wife. And I don't know if he lost his wife, BC, or I don't know when this happened. But somehow this guy had time to date between 100 and 125 women after she passed. How? With what time? I would say with what money, but he got that on there. But how? This is what is showing you that these guys keep score. They keep proper score because after around, I don't know, 27, I would have lost count. 100 to 125 women. Hey, money can do a lot of things, oh. Dating scene has produced a lot of dates, but very little substance. Back in the day, dating was simple. You just meet somebody and go. And then you have people who are talking about on love, uh, Ready to Love, which I do follow. Um, Ready to Love, which is another show where they're, they're age shaming people for being like 40 and stuff like that and not, uh, not having discernment. This guy is old enough has been dating these 100 to 125 people and he's now talking about how yeah he's been able to date but not really get people with substance you dated all these people then then you don't have discernment either let's hold men to the same kind of standards okay you don't have discernment if after the 10th person then then you need to stop dating like that i mean 100 i, I, can't, I, I don't know get a milkshake or something those days are long gone they are long gone because youtube and people will tell you that mm -mm, we don't do that over here milkshake is not a date okay these are the things that i've been hearing hearing milkshake make blah, blah, blah. you can tell i've not done this for a long time blah, 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 blah. okay so milkshake is not a date mm -hmm. what's a date is <laughs> if you're not breaking the bank it's not a date we need to see some lobster, okay? We need to see some crab legs, okay? We need to see some shrimp. We need to see some steak. We need to see some, mm -hmm, all of that, all of that, okay? Um, milkshake is no longer considered a date anyway. So yeah, dating these days will be hard. But if you can just wave enough money in front of these girls, they will stick around and deal with whatever. How'd you meet her? Online. I meet everybody online. There's no time. Um, aren't you retired, sir? There's no time. Aren't you retired? And aren't you tired of dating so many women? You're not tired yet. You're not tired? Hang it up flat screen. Like, for real. Hang it up. Just let it go. Let things flow naturally. 
after 100 225 i'm not gonna take at least a little bit of a break sheesh uh-uh oh well when i first saw a picture of lisa i thought that's a really pretty girl very very pretty face and smile um she's just young i'm sorry she's just young even if she didn't have a pretty face and smile she would just be young and that would be the thing that would attract you to her just somebody that she would like to be seen with that's what i'm saying that's exactly what i'm saying he just wants somebody like arm candy that's fine too just say that just say i wish people would be more honest just say look i'm an influential guy i know a lot of people i need arm candy okay i need a, a woman to be by on my arm and by my side and people be like zang where'd you get her from that's what he needs just be honest so the girl knows because the girl knows what she's here to do she know what she know what she came here to do she came here to get your money and live a very comfortable life so if everybody was just honest none of this is based in love you'll not hear the words love anytime soon with some of these couples all you hear is "Ooh, he fine Ooh, he nice Ooh, he needs support and i can give it Ooh, hmm. oh well or ooh, Betty hasn't done the Dantantana in a long time. I'm gonna lay it down. Blah blah blah. Like there's so many reasons why somebody would want to actually be with an ex inmate. Interestingly enough, these people did not meet while she was in prison. Oh no, he knew her before. Time mm -hmm. we met, we uh, had a very enjoyable conversation on the deck with some red wine and. Uh... Yeah, and then they did the Dantantana and they smooched. Mm hmm. After our last day, she vanished, and I just didn't know what happened. I got a, a message on my uh, phone. It said to call Lisa at this number. She's in trouble. And it was... He's showing the picture of him holding her hostage, allegedly, to his pals. I'm sure his pals are like... Okay. The uh, Vandalia Women's Correctional Institute. Yeah, because she was tampering with motor vehicle, and she was in... She had... Yeah in possession so she got the 10 months 10 months is a long time she looks familiar i might have dated her grandmother <laughs> when he said that it took me a while for it to sink in because i was just so many things were running to my mind 2.3 million uh he dated 100 225 women <sighs> so many things but that's actually a very funny joke it's a funny joke but in the midst of everything around i, I couldn't even enjoy the joke i'm sorry sir your joke was really funny but it's just a lot one of the things i like about her the most is that she's approaching 40. she's not hurt all the time now when he said this she's approaching 40 so he likes her because she's not hurt all the time i thought he meant oh you know she's actually been through some stuff you know um she's not she's not gonna be offended with a lot of things or or have those you know childlike baby relationship status type behavior right she's been through some stuff she's matured she's not going to be hurt with the littlest of things but no he actually means hurt in the physical sense huh all these gals i've dated their knee hurts their back hurts their arm hurts <laughs> and the friends are like mm -hmm, we we got that same problem we're pensioners we we have pain here and there what are you trying to say sir <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like which is a number Age is just a number. That's all it is. This is a prepaid collect call from Lisa. Hey, what are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, these conversations are always so awkward. They're so awkward because, like, the people are there. She'll probably know that her, his friends are there. And the camera crew is there. And I'm pretty sure they feed them lines, things to just say because the conversations are never really flowing. They're never really normal. They're never very organic. Hold on, I sent all my paperwork today. Beautiful. Sign all the we paperwork. gotta get some clothes and get your makeup. See, this is what I mean. We gotta get some clothes and get your makeup. Like, why are you talking about this here? And the friends are just looking on like... Yeah, it's awkward. You're gonna put a dent in your pocket, right? You're gonna put a big dent in my pocket, baby. <laughs> You're gonna put a big dent in my pocket, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I look just like my brother. So then she goes on to say that she looks just like her brother. Okay. Well, what would you say to that actually? If you're dating somebody you haven't seen them in a long time, maybe long distance relationship, okay? I pray nobody, none of y'all, nobody gets or falls in love with somebody who has to go to prison or is in prison. It's just not ideal. But let's say it's long distance relationship and all of a sudden the person's like, they're FaceTiming you because make sure they FaceTime you. Don't get catfish now. 
don't do that but like let's say they're facetiming you and then they're like oh if you saw the rest of my body oh i've gained a lot of weight or oh i'm not really gonna show you my body here's my my piece because i look like a boy now or whatever and you're dating a girl and you want to date a girl what would you say to that I mean, he tries to sol salvage the thing, but I don't know if he would like it if she really turned out looking way different than what... Because remember, he wants that arm candy, okay? So... Oh, now, mm. come on. I can't believe that. You're too good. Your features are too pretty. You can't look like a boy. Well, it's, it's the truth. But what's on the inside that counts, you know, right? It's what's on the inside that counts, right? Well, that's 100% right. Yeah. He better stand on that 10 toes, just it like... It's a um, number. That's all it is. Age is a number. That's all it is. This is how you know this stuff is fake. I mean, why would she just randomly say that? Just, I bet you're happy you're dating somebody half your age. That's not really something, that's not really something you would just say on a phone conversation when that has already been established, even before she went into prison and she's about to come out. So she's done those 10 months. So to me, these phone conversations are just a whack. If that's right. But then again, they're not going to be talking about all the personal stuff whilst all these people are around. So I probably spent about five thousand dollars on Lisa. Good job. He spent about five thousand dollars on this Lisa girl. I think it's an amazing thing because he's worth two point three million. So he could have been wild and have spent about he could have spent hundred thousand. A lot of people do that. I wouldn't put it past anybody. I wouldn't want to put it past anybody on this show because this is what they do. And later on in the week. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. You'll see Dante and Nicole, and that guy blew his money like there's no tomorrow. And he's not even that rich. In any case. I don't care what they think if she's using me for money. It's, that's their opinion, that's their thoughts, and who cares? Well, this guy does, and you're about to care in a minute when she starts blowing all your money. But then again, you have so much of it. By the time she finished blowing half, some time would have gone by and you would have noticed and then you'd be left with another half. You are retired though, so I hope that money is flowing in for you because um, somehow from somewhere because yeah, yeah, this, this, sorry to say, but I don't think this is gonna go very far. I just don't, but it's gonna be interesting. In any case, I have talked long enough. As I said, daily videos up in here. So you're really gonna enjoy. You're really gonna enjoy. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of my outro. I don't even remember. In any case, whatever you do, make sure you hit bumps, thumb, as on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. Ooh, we're back to the daily videos. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Let me try it. God bless. Mm -hmm. I honestly forgot my intro or outro. Wow, I need to get back into this.